Welcome, my amazing and wonderful Virgos. Hi, guys. It's Robin. I'm here doing a reading for you just because I love you and I want you to have a good life. As above, so below. Anything unholy has to go. This is my mantra when I'm doing saging of the space. Okay, thank you for coming into my channel. That is enough. Thank you for being here. I love you guys. Let's see. Let's take a quick impromptu look at my Virgo's energy. These are timeless. Okay. I wanted to show you my new toy. I got a whole set of these. They're phenom. They're a little chewed up, but <clears throat> they're crystal covered with iron. But I'm going to share a treat with you guys. I never do. <laughs> are you ready? I'm going to do a little treat with you and show you what I got. Now, I am accepting gifts for my channel so that I can do things for you, Virgo. I need to get some stands for these. I just got them last night. So this is for my Virgos. Help me, Holy Spirit, to read for Virgos and bring the highest form of energy that can be manifested, helping me to read their energy. I gotta figure out these balls yet. I mean, why are you taking so long to? They're not. There you go. Takes a minute for them to. I think it has something to do with being on the table watch. See the difference? it goes down then winds you just can't help but <sighs> take a nice deep beautiful breath and I really think that's what it's about because I think most of us suffer from a certain amount of PTSD to be real right let's listen to this one Virgos <clears throat> wow it's so settling isn't it Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I'm sending you sound vibrational healing, balancing of your chakras, relaxation of your mind, your heart, and your spirit, your hopes, hoping you're strong, getting stronger every day, looking for opportunities to be happy by helping other people too. Sacrifice is a great thing, man. It's one of the greatest lessons of our existence. To know that it's not all about us. I have Virgo rising, so I am totally with you on this. May you be blessed. As we look into love energy for you. That was pretty unique. It's got a really unique kind of hollowy sound. It almost sounds like you're like you're hitting, um, <clears throat> I don't know, like a spring. It's really unique. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. That's my bag, babies. Virgo, it's been a little while since we've actually touched down and actually one-on-one. -on -one. I've done readings for many of you, and I thank you so much for that opportunity. I've got a newsletter coming out very soon. I'll be sending it to prior um, clients that I've worked with and probably lost touch because of the pandemic, and I certainly don't want that. And a lot of times what happens is it, before you can actually form a really solid bond with somebody, you have to reform at least once. And I have a special that I run for people. Once I've read for you one time, and it's a BOGO special, you can... Ask me about that or go check my website. It's buy one, get one free readings. And you can use them anytime until the end of the year. And uh, <clears throat> those are only for people who've already had a reading. Right. So those are 55 55 for two full readings. 
by the time you've gotten to your third or fourth reading, we should be doing Akashic Journeys with you already. And I just wanted you to know that's possible too. So if you're interested in that angle with me and want to take a second or third step type of relationship where you come in and you get an initial reading if you've not had one, right, for your first reading, we get to know each other. I keep everything anonymous and sacred. And then, of course, it's your message from the guides. And I've got tons of books and wonderful Holy Spirit to help bring you into some uh, balance, you know. Confirmations and synchronicities. Virgo, you know that. We like order. We like common sense. We like things to make sense. Right now, we're talking about love. So I bring in the love energies right now. Holy Spirit, set the tone. This is a sacred anointing oil. If you're new to my channel, you've probably never seen. This is something that I created uh, after deep meditation. And, <clears throat> oh yeah, it's beautiful. It's based on a lot of the sacred scents brought together in one, and it's very angelic. And if I had to say so, I would say that's a scent of angelic scent. I mean, the only... It's pretty nice. I've got a couple of scents I've made. Your energy is that of the lovers. Ooh, Virgo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. The background story for Virgos. Tell me, spirit. What is your message for my beautiful Virgos? Okay. Someone's sitting at the top of the hill and they're going... Wow, that was a tough battle. That's what I just heard. Hold on. We'll get clarification on it. I'd like more on this energy that Virgo finds himself in at this time in love. Please, Spirit, tap us into Virgo's love. Deep, grounded, deep, solid Virgo. The, the hermit, the wise one. You know. I'm telling you, I love you guys with all my heart. Here we go. Oh, friendship. Okay. Oh my God, look at that. That's loyalty right there. Yeah, that's loyalty. Why do we have this forlorn in the middle though? There's two here and two here and one here. Interesting. Please give me another to explain that please for my Virgos. I need to know why this person's in a forlorn at the cross. I don't know. What does that represent for Virgo's love life? Did they have to let somebody go? A, a, somebody they knew a long time that they loved? Is this the storyline? Oh, Master number 22, the co-creation of builder. Somebody built a relationship with someone that was a soulmate. And they have been building and choosing their path. Where has this path led them? It's Virgo, where has your path led you? <clears throat> to make a decision. This path made you make a decision. This is a tower moment. But it's also the sun. To me. Um, this is a victory. You got, you got, you climbed to a higher level and you were able to look out upon things, Virgo, and see what they are for real and decide for yourself at this point whether you felt safe or not. Is this safe? This direction that I want to take. Let's find out. Tell me about this person over here. Okay, this person was a problem. If you'll see that the energy between you is master number 22. 22, equality, equality, right. The equation that you're in is the full lover's energy, right? Fine, we're equality, fine, we're good. The equation this person finds themselves in is 23, one less than you. They feel like somebody's missing from the equation. Something has Taken this person away from you. Wow. 
Tell me about this person. What? Tell me more, Spirit, about this person. This person may nod away at you, nod away at the resources, ate up your time. Could be that as well. Yep. Um, <clears throat> they leaned on you way too much. That person did. And they played innocent. Were they innocent? Nope. They just put a burden on you. You had every right to choose what you chose. Let's find out. Let's see what the romance angels say to you, Virgo. This is an interesting reading. I like these readings. These are very, very clear messages. And I don't they don't mess around, right? And I like that. It's almost like um, the Mars in me. But it's interesting because Mars is in Libra for me. Whoa. First two cards. Whoa. Getting to know each other in a wedding. Why this person's in a burden, feeling burdened about revealing their innocence to you. They are stubborn. They're, con oh, okay, I see what's going on. Something's eating away at them, Virgo. They're not telling you. They're trying to be strong. And they're projecting innocence, but there's something that they're worried about. And they're worried about dumping it on you. And maybe this wedding that's coming up, that's on their mind. Maybe that's really what's on their mind. While you're spending time getting to know them, you've had a lookout. You know who you're looking for. You know who you want to build with, right? You don't want to go with just Josh or Schmuck. Everybody like the last guy. You know, Virgo, you're not like that. You're builders and, sh and shakers, right? You're shapers. You're shapers. You're like the frosting on the cake. All right. You know, the fondant, baby. It's so tucked in perfect with flowers. Virgo, watch out, though. See, I told you. I had a feeling. You're watching your P's and Q's, though. If anybody puts on a false mask, you're not going to let it happen. But you sure do have good chemistry with this person. Ooh, snap. Soulmate card for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this relationship matter. What is it? What's your message? The hottest love has the coldest end. Ooh, watch out. There's somebody being warned here. You chill on it, right? Let's find out. How are you showing up? Oh, I just love this green, oh, these tarot royale. Oh, God. Ciro Marchetti is my favorite. I could do all my readings with just his stuff. Seriously. The artwork is so famous. Fabulous. Actually, I do have a lot of his stuff on my table. Huh. Wow, that's cool. I got one, two, three, four, five of his decks. Six of his decks on my table. Oh, my God, I rock. Here we go. Tell me Virgo's energy, please. Okay, you're solid as a rock, man. You're happy? You found someone to love you and you're ready to celebrate this love and you're ready to give a long-term um, commitment or you're hoping for one. Tell me about the person that comes to bring them real love. Now, this person over here is still burdened. They're hiding something from you. Maybe they're hiding the fact that they feel burdened about maybe getting married real quick or something's going too quick. A path is trying to be chosen here. And you're not even solidly know each other quite full yet. There is getting to know each other. This is not like you should do this so quickly. This is scary to me. I'm feeling like somebody wants to back out of this shit. Virgo, let's see. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Somebody's worried in this relationship. Nine of Wands is heavy burdens and tired, but still could carry on, but not at your peak best. Nine of Swords is totally in a distressed state of me. I feel lost and lonely, and I feel frustrated, and I don't have anybody to talk to. Nobody's listening, but that's not true. There's an owl outside the window, and there's an angel spirit right here. 
over hovering over this person, probably your guardian angels. And you're never exactly alone. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. <clears throat> Page of Cups is in reverse. They're thinking of taking, not holding back on an offer. But there is great, incredible love here. This could be a water sign that's in love with you. What's the energy between you two? Virgo. Ah, the King of Swords, thinking, 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 solving problems. How do I, how do I, how do I? Not should I, but how? You're not even asking why. You just, how? How do I do this? How do I handle this? This I got to use my noodle hair. I got to think. Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In the meantime... I'm going to hang back for a minute with my offer. I have time after all. This is taking your time to make an offer to somebody. But being very happy and enlightened over something that's happening, that's a good mood. Tell me about the expected outcome for this love. For Virgos. Virgos love life, please. Thank you for being here. Make sure that you hit the like button when you come in. Oh, yeah, you're still going to hold your fort together, man. You know who you love. You're just not going to settle for anything. Yeah, you're going to follow your own truth and your destiny. This is your destiny. This is your life. So you feel like you hit the jackpot somewhere. But you're also protecting your interests. You're very intelligent that way. Yes, yeah, I can see why. Because you have dealt with this. I think you're about effing done. Virgo, any of this bullshit of not telling your truth or not coming clean or stealing from you or backstabbing you or putting on a false mask or acting like they love you and all they wanted was whatever, right? Not happening anymore. I don't care how much they miss you. Friend or no friend, if a feminine comes between you, let's say you're a feminine and a feminine comes between you and your soulmates and, they, and you know that you're twin flames, and they let that happen. Oh, my God. Every reason to put up your guard and protect your energy. You are, after all, solid in your own right. And you're in hangman state right now in, as well. And you're also in your head as well. So you're getting to know somebody, but I'd like to know who it is. Please tell me who this energy shows up as for my Virgos, please. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, somebody new, Virgo, new love, new love, new love. This is totally a listen up. Okay, I'm going to title this, listen up, Virgo, what? You're moving away from a twin flame soulmate that did you wrong and was immature and was deceptive. Uh, and you took the bull by the horns and you left that shit. What you did was you ended the crap. And you went into a whole new dimension. Reinventing yourself while you were in lockdown. You let them have this Queen of Cups. You let them. They're in a state of distress. They can't reach you to give you back an offer because you've cut them off. Because of this it's interference. So you did you know who you are, Virgos. You know exactly who you are. You're you're intelligent. You're getting the victory here. Jim uh, Aries Leo Sad Energy. Ace of Cups, you've got this beautiful offer here coming, and it is a gorgeous reading. Please, if you'd like to look into your own reading, I would be happy to do that for you. Um, and also, by all means, come to my website and order some of this. You will not regret it. Um, <clears throat> I want to say that I love you, and thank you so much for uh, being on my channel, liking, subscribing, everything that you do, Virgos. Your presence alone gives me like solid feedback. It makes me feel solid. So if you do comment on my videos, that would be really cool because then I could just kind of, how do you, you know, how I do. Okay, so namaste, my divine Virgos. This is timeless. Could play from anybody's perspective. Male, female, gender, non-specific, love, energies, twin flames, messed up. That's how it is. Lucky you. 
you come out of this lucky. So you get love because you want it and you deserve it. And it's brand new love. Virgos, you deserve it. Namaste, darlings. Bye.